class act, strong, clever, and victorious, Gerhard Steinhauser announces himself as a big player in road racing, and Germany have a new potential hero to celebrate. What a win from Steinhauser. Another opportunity for the sprinters after some very difficult days in the saddle. 178 kilometers to a big finish in the beautiful city of Padova. An opportunity for Caden Groves and Caleb Ewan to find their first victory, or perhaps for Jonathan Milan to make it four wins at this edition of the Giro d'Italia. The race was waved off at kilometer zero in pouring rain as the race dropped down for 14 kilometers to the foot of the first climb of the day. A very attacking opening to the race saw the peloton split in two, but when they hit the climb, four riders went clear. Two from Polti Cometa, featuring Mirko Maestri and Andrea Pietra Bon, Mikel Honore and Filippo Fiorelli of VF Group Bardiani made up the four. Over the first climb of the day and down onto flatter roads, it was Lidl Trek and Sudal Quickstep who started predominantly to set the pace in the peloton. They never got much of an advantage though. One minute and 22 seconds, they're headed to the first sprint of the day. Pietra Bon adding to his tally in the intermediate sprint standings. they wended their way towards the Intergiro Sprint. Juan Pedro Lopez joined by Tudor Pro Cycling as well. Florian Stork joining in the pace setting for Alberto Dainese, hoping to bring it back for a bunch sprint and keeping the breakaway on a very tight rain all day. Lidl Trek then approaching the Intergiro Sprint, still riding on the front as the gap came down and ebbed and flowed. But it was Filippo Fiorelli who came out from the wheels to roll over the Intergiro in first place to extend his lead in the Intergiro overall standings at the finish. After that then, with the gap still lurking at around about 23 seconds, Eduardo Affini saw the opportunity to blast across and join the four riders at the front of the race inside the last 55 kilometers. A battle then between Pietro Bon and Fiorelli for the last bonus sprint going the way of Filippo Fiorelli as Eduardo Affini, with the other four riders from the original breakaway, held on to a precious but very slender advantage in the last 30 kilometers. They were dangling off the front with a bunch unwilling to close that gap definitively until they got to within the last 10 kilometers or thereabouts. But eventually they were swept up as UAE team Emirates with Lidl Trek and the Malia Ciclamino shut down the breakaway and the expected bunch sprint started to unfold. The sprinters trains piloting their main men through a series of tightening chicanes and in towards the final kilometre. Consoni looking round to see where Milan is. Milan at the moment is nowhere. He's, he's detached from his lead-out man. Little Trek for once have not got things right. Caden Groves is isolated now on the wheel of Hugo Ostetter. They might have to reconfigure here and go for Consoni. is a long way back. He's going to have to find some space up the inside. It's only about 400 metres to go. They look for their leader. They can't find him. Well, this is very interesting. Where is Milan? He's about 15th back now. He's going to have to find something special as Gaviri goes long. Hofstetter also there as well. Hofstetter goes in the centre with Dan Aetio on his wheel. Hofstetter, Dainese, here comes Caden Groves. Is it finally going to be the day for Groves? Groves hits the front. Malia on the right-hand side of the road. Dainese in the mix. Milan with the lunge. Milan! Milan and Malia takes the win by a whisker. By a whisker from the Malia Ciclamino. Sudal quick step with victory number three in this edition of the Giro d'Italia. The champagne corks flowing once again. Timbalia top of the pile, Milan in second place and Caden Grove still looking for his first win in third. No change in the general classification, Tadej Pogacar continues to lead the Giro d'Italia by 7 minutes and 42 seconds with Thomas in third. And the lead for this man in the Malia Ciclamino is virtually unassailable now, 127 points to Caden Groves. Tadej Pogacar continues to hold a grip on the King of the Mountains competition as well with no change in the top 10 here. And no change either 
Antonio Tiberi with a lead of 41 seconds to Team and Adelsman in the white jersey competition.